Okay, so it's eight o'clock, um, and uh, so we'll start the first of these pajama meditations. Um, so uh, when we meditate, uh, some of you I know have meditated before, some of you are regular meditators, some of you may not be. Um, so the thing to remember about meditation, if you're, if you're just coming to it fairly new, is that um, it's just a way of relaxing, a way of noticing how we are in a, in a sense. Uh, we're not trying to change anything, we're just trying to... Um, to notice how we are, and to notice what's going on. And uh, the, way in, the way that this calms the mind, uh, this calms the mind because we, um, we're not getting caught up so much in thoughts, we're doing other things. We're allowing the thoughts to be there, but we're occupying ourselves in different ways. In, uh, well, this week we'll be doing two meditations, the mindfulness of breathing, where we're following the breath um, and we concentrate on the breath, so that helps the mind to relax. And the other meditation is one called uh, Metta Bhavana, which means loving kindness meditation. And that's a meditation where we bring people to mind and, and basically see how we feel about them and try and have a sense of friendliness and loving kindness towards them. So those things help the mind to relax. But today we're going to do something called a body scan or a body awareness meditation. And this is particularly helpful um, because uh, we spend so much time in our heads thinking and we spend very little time generally in our bodies. And our bodies are so important to us and they're so full of sensations of all different kinds. So by uh, spending time just noticing these sensations, uh, we allow our minds to relax and we come down from our mind into our body and we really feel what's happening in the, in the moment. We really feel how we are, what's going on right now, right in this moment. Um, and it can take a while if you've not done it before to actually um, really feel all the sensations. So if you can't feel some of the sensations that I talk about, that's perfectly all right. Don't worry about it. Um, but always stay open to the fact that there will be other sensations that you can't feel as we go deeper and as we practice this meditation, you will notice things that you've never ever noticed before. And uh, that's lovely. Um, and it's a way of relaxing as well. It really helps us to relax. So <clears throat> this will be uh, about half an hour. And I would encourage you to just uh, let go. You don't have to do anything in this meditation. All you have to do is follow uh, my voice, follow what I'm asking you to notice. Um, and that's all really and just see what you can notice. Um, but this is a really quiet time. It's a really good way to start the day. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a way of just being, just being you for half an hour without any, anything coming in from outside to distract you. Um, so get comfy. You can do this lying on the bed, lying on the floor, sitting on a chair, sitting on a cushion or a stool, a meditation stool. The main thing is to be comfortable. So um, that's the first thing. So let's get comfy. And you can close your eyes if you wish. I personally prefer this meditation with my eyes closed. But if you want to keep them slightly open, that's okay. We're just going to begin by taking stock of how we are right now. Not five minutes ago, not how we would like to be, but actually how we are right now. How are we 
emotionally. Are we feeling happy or sad? Anxious? A bit grumpy? And whatever your emotional state, that's absolutely fine. We're not trying to be any particular way. <clears throat> We're not trying to make ourselves into something. We're just being what we are. We're just relaxing into this state of happiness or grumpiness or anxiety or whatever it is. Just allowing it to be with a deep sense of kindness. So how are we in mentally? Are we, is our mind busy? Or is it fairly relaxed? Doesn't matter which. This is where we're starting from. Just noticing our minds, noticing any thoughts, and having a sense of kindly acceptance towards them. <coughs> And how are we physically? Feeling a bit um, early morning-ish, maybe a bit achy for some of us, or feeling quite good, or a mixture. Again, whatever it is, that's fine. This is where we begin from. So first of all, whatever way we are this morning, emotionally, mentally or physically, just having a sense of that's okay, that's fine. It's just where we're beginning from. And a real sense of kindness to ourselves. We're going through a lot at the moment. It's quite difficult sometimes. We really need to take care of ourselves. So you might notice now the weight of your body being held by the chair or the bed or the floor or the cushion. Just allowing yourself to be held. Just giving up, letting go to the chair, the bed, the floor, whatever it is. Can you feel the contact with whatever you're sitting or lying on? Strange thing, this contact. Can you find where your body ends and whatever you're sitting or lying on begins? I bet you can't. <laughs> it's just a mass of feelings, isn't it? Just a mass of feelings. So we're going to start this meditation at the shoulders. It's a good place to start. You might notice that the shoulders are rising and falling as you breathe. Just very, very slightly. Rising on the in-breath dropping slightly on the out breath. 
So this is a good opportunity to relax on each out breath. As your shoulders drop, just relaxing. Allowing any tension, particularly in the neck and shoulders, to just drop away each time you breathe out, each time the shoulders drop. Allowing tension to drop down through the body, any tightness to drop down through the body. So just relaxing on each out breath and then relaxing a little more on the next. Not trying to breathe in any particular way, just allowing the breath to come and go as it wishes. Now we're going to move up the back of the head, the nape of the neck, round to the crown of the head. This is quite subtle, but you, can you feel the skin stretched over your skull? Just a very subtle sense of tightness. If you can't feel it, just stay open, stay curious, keep looking, keep feeling. I'm going to move along now to the forehead. <clears throat> so how's the forehead? I'd like to bet that there's a, sh a small frown there. If there is, then just allowing the forehead to uncrease, allowing the frown to drop out. We do hold our faces in a particular way as we face the world. We don't need to do that just now. So letting the forehead relax and just noticing what that feels like. And the same with the face. No need to hold our face. Nobody's looking. Just allowing the muscles to sag, the skin to sag. The whole of the face relaxing. The eyes soft behind the eyelids. The tongue resting in the mouth. And the jaw slightly dropped, slightly open. How does that feel? This is something we can remember to do maybe when we're feeling a bit stressed during our day, just relaxing the face. Moving down now, down the throat. You feel anything there? Maybe swallow and then you feel something. And back down to the shoulders. OK, 
Can you feel anything in the shoulders? Slight tingling. Just stay open to whatever you can feel or you might feel. And we're going to move down the front of the body now, beginning with the upper chest. If you look carefully, you'll notice that the chest is changing all the time. Rising on the in-breath. Dropping on the out-breath. The lungs inflating on the in-breath, pushing the ribcage outwards expanding the chest and then relaxing again as we breathe out there seems to me to be a wholesomeness in in this the sensations of this are almost delightful, very pleasurable if we really get caught up in them. Can you get any sense of that? It's okay to have pleasure in meditation. That is, uh, it's a really good thing. The Buddha used to recommend it. So as we go through this, just noticing any pleasurable sensations and just enjoying them. Moving down to the abdomen and the belly. What's going on here? How do they feel? Sometimes the feelings in the abdomen and the belly can be very pleasant. And sometimes they can be unpleasant. Sometimes they can be neither or a mixture. It's a very, very sensitive place in our body. Body where strong feelings come and go. So whatever's going on, just having a sense of kindness towards it. We're going to move down the legs now. So the upper leg, the quadriceps, big, big muscles. They might feel slightly tight, depending on how you're sitting. A lot of power in these muscles. What can you notice here? I'm bringing awareness to the knees. <clears throat> Big bony structures, not too easy to feel. We can feel them if they hurt us, if they're hurting. Can we feel them if they're not? Quite subtle. Maybe if we focus very 
strongly on the knees we might feel something not trying too hard just bring in awareness and attention to the knees moving down to the shins more bone that you might be able to feel or not but you probably can feel the skin on the shins and any clothing brushing against the skin. The ankles, more bone. Can you feel anything there? Don't worry if you can't. And the top of the foot. The top of our feet is quite a sensitive area. You might feel uh, clothing there if you've got anything on the feet. Or you might feel the air warmth of the air or the coldness of the air brushing the skin maybe a slight tenderness tingling and the toes what can you feel in your toes? Try wiggling them. <clears throat> and certainly feel the big toe fairly easily. The others less so. If you really practice this, you may get to a stage where you can feel each toe in turn. <laughs> Wouldn't that be good? <clears throat> and moving to the sole of the foot. Now this is a really special area. Full of nerve endings. So there's lots and lots of tingling in the sole of the foot. Busy, busy patch of the body. Can you feel that, this tingling, this energy in the sole of the feet? Maybe also a warmth. Maybe even a dampness. The more you concentrate on the soles of the feet, the greater the tingling becomes. Moving back around the heel now. You feel anything there? I'm moving up to the calf muscles. <clears throat> Another big muscle group. Might feel a slight tightness there. You might feel clothing brushing the skin or if you're lying down um, contact with whatever you're lying on and the back of the knee 
from the back of the upper leg, the hamstrings, one of the biggest muscle groups in the body, powerful muscles, full of energy. Travelling up to the buttocks now and the sitting bones beneath them. How do they feel? Probably feel the buttocks quite easily. How about the sitting bones beneath? How do they feel? Pleasant or unpleasant? Or somewhere in between? And the hips. Can you feel into the hips? Quite difficult. We certainly know if their hips are hurting, but can we feel them when they feel okay? When we're comfortable? Can we just get a general sense of the hips? And moving up the back. Big muscled area full of powerful muscles that sometimes causes aches and pains. How are they now? Small of the back and the upper back. What can you feel in this big area? Can you feel into it? Can you notice the aliveness, the tingling? More subtle than in the feet and other places, but still there. And if you have any aches in the back, just having a sense of kindness towards them, not getting into conflict with pain, just having a sense of loving care towards it. Noticing the upper back constantly rising and falling as we breathe. And we're back to the shoulders. How are they now? What can you feel in the shoulders? Now we're going to move down the arms, the upper arms. What's, what's the sensations here? Can you feel any? The lower arms, the forearms. And the wrist. Now in the wrist we have the pulse. Can you feel it? Can you feel your pulse working away? The echo of your heart. Moving the blood around the body, keeping you alive. The 
If you look very closely, you can feel the pulse. But it's quite subtle. Don't worry if you can't. And finally, moving down to the hands. Lots and lots of sensations here. You may find that your hands, if you're holding them together, is just one mass of sensations. And that's quite interesting in itself. If you look carefully, you can notice the sensations on the back of the hand. Kind of tingling, but in a way different to other areas of the body, maybe. And what can you feel on the palm of the hands? More tingling, warmth, dampness. Anything else? And moving down the fingers, all the way down the fingers to the fingertips. Can you feel the energy here? It's quite extraordinary. Tingling, warmth. real aliveness in our body. And finally moving to the whole body, just taking in the whole of your being. You notice the feelings in the whole of the body tingling, aliveness, energy. And just staying with that for the last few moments of this meditation, just enjoying the sensations of the whole of your being. In a few moments, I'm going to ring the bell to end the meditation. And when I do, just take your time coming round. If you're lying down, don't better not to sit up, just roll over onto your side first, kind of for your body. Just take your time to open your eyes and move your body. Well, thank you for joining us, everybody. Um, I hope that was a really helpful way to start the day. Um, we're going to be here every day this week uh, and perhaps maybe carry on if, um, if this proves to be popular, uh, maybe carry on next week. Um, and uh, so we're here again tomorrow and tomorrow we're doing the mindfulness of breathing following the breath. And just a reminder that at 11 o'clock today, we've got a cup of tea 
or a cup of coffee, a morning cuppa meditation, which is for 15 minutes, just a chance to relax in the middle of the morning and, uh, and just uh, enjoy the peace and quiet of sitting with a, a drink. So it'd be great to see you then, but if you can't make it, thank you for coming today. And I do hope that you'll, uh, you'll join us again one day this week. The more we can meditate, the better it is, the more, it, the more effectively it works. So thank you for coming and um, enjoy your day. Have a good day.